Russia is losing a secret battle for communications and space war in Ukraine. Before Kremlin troops crossed the borders of Ukraine, the Russian Federation launched a secret mission that the Russians believed would help them bring a quick victory in the Blitzkrieg. Russian military intelligence organized a cyber ambush, striking ground stations of the American satellite network, on which the connection between the country's top leadership and the armed forces of Ukraine depended Forbes writes. The sneak attack quickly destroyed tens of thousands of Viasat modems, threatening vital lines connecting Kyiv to its defenders across the country and to allies across the world, the article said. It is pointed out that the fact that Kremlin generals attached great importance to the destruction of Ukrainian space technology at the very beginning of a large-scale invasion is confirmed by carefully synchronized Russian attacks on the Viasat network. At the same time, it is noted that the Russian cyber blitzkrieg was suddenly interrupted. Elon Musk began urgently delivering tens of thousands of Starlink stations to Ukraine, connecting the country back to the World Wide Web through his broadband satellites. The Russians were furious, Forbes writes. Putin began sending envoys to UN meetings to threaten that his space force could begin shooting down American satellites helping Ukraine. But then the hopelessness of this goal must have become obvious to the Russian leadership. It is emphasized that Russia under Putin has fewer than 200 satellites compared to more than 6,000 launched by SpaceX alone. They did not prepare for an extended conflict with an adversary who had access to more propriety information than they did. The Russian military appears to continue to face an information gap due to the limitations of its forces and lack of access to Western commercial imagery, noted James Clay Maltz, a professor of the Naval Postgraduate School at Monterey. According to him, despite the successful attack on Viasat ground terminals, Russia was unable to achieve its main goal to deprive the Ukrainian military of access to space information. It is noted that having issued a barrage of threats to strike Western satellites coming to the aid of Ukraine, Putin's inner circle likely concluded that destroying one or two Western satellites with the anti-satellite weapons he has tested will do virtually nothing to reverse Russia's lag behind American space power. As Naval War College professor David Burback said, the Russian-Ukrainian war is perhaps the first two-way space war in human history. Professor Molls also agreed with him, and Ukraine also agreed with him. And Ukraine is ahead thanks to its partners. A wildfire that started in the U.S. state of Oregon on Tuesday burned around 1,700 acres of land, leaving thousands of people without electricity and prompting evacuations. The cause of the fire is being investigated. Dubbed the Darlene Three Fire, the wildfire spread quickly on the outskirts of Lapine in Deschutes County. The fire had covered three to five acres when firelighters were dispatched to the scene of blaze at around 12.45 p.m. local time. However, an hour later, it covered 1,700 acres by Tuesday night, according to Central Oregon Interagency Dispatch. The U.S. Forest Service shut down and evacuated nearby campgrounds and trails in Deschutes National Forest and the shelter for evacuees was set up at a high school in Lapine, a rural city about 30 miles southwest of Bend. Animals were also sheltered at the Lapine Rodeo Grounds. The fire also caused massive power cuts in the city of around 2,500 residents. More than 2,000 residents were left without power, as Midstate Electric Cooperative, an electric utility company, told some customers it would most likely enact a public safety shutoff in the area as a result of the fires. Amid the wildfire, Oregon Governor Tina Kotek invoked Oregon's Emergency Conflagration Act, a law that allows the state fire marshal to invoke the full power of the Oregon Fire Service to protect life and property.